And it's not just a book on how to draw birds. It's a book on how to see birds. That, in, that he's dyslexic. He, and, I, and I'm not saying anything that he wouldn't say himself. That he's learned about the world, not through reading about it, but through depicting it, through drawing it. And he takes those birds in, and he moves them through his mind, and into his eye, and through his mind, and out his hand. And there's a connection with that natural world. And there's a, in, within that book, there's something about how to, what to observe, what to see, how to look, how, how in the intense looking you appreciate, how you see things that you wouldn't otherwise. When you're drawing something, you begin to see things that you otherwise wouldn't. And even if you end up being the world's lousiest artist, even if your birds all look like pizzas, I mean, the, the, the mere fact that you're looking at that bird and trying to depict it, you're going to get a tremendous amount out of it. We're doing it in conjunction with the National Audubon Society. The foremost birder in the world, uh, David Sibley, has written an introduction to it. It's a book of the widest possible scope and the most intense kind of instruction and the biggest possible heart. If I were a bird, I'd be happy to be depicted by John Muir Laws. <laughs>